Hello everybody, this is Zeke here from Divinity Real Estate Group, but it's within the same company. So the company is JSL Living Real Estate, but Divinity went ahead and joined with them. So I'm with Divinity at the moment. So yes, let's get into it. The state of the market right now, let's dive in. So when I was doing a little bit of research, the Federal Reserve, so they are the ones who to fluctuate the market and they mess with the numbers in order to help the economy. So they have raised interest rates. Reason being because they are trying to make home prices or homes in general a little bit less affordable. Because back in the day, in COVID times, rates were low, people were buying homes left and right, we were losing out on supply. The Fed was like, they need to stop as soon as possible because they're trying to hold off on inflation. They don't want it to raise up too high. So in order to combat that, they are increasing the interest rates. I'm starting to see six to 7% interest rates. It just depends on your credit. And at this point, that's what we're trying to get buyers to understand high interest rate is what we're looking for because high interest rate means less competition and not only that but since there's high interest rate and less competition sellers don't have the high ground anymore they are lowering their prices by the thousands they're lowering their prices by ten thousands and also giving seller concessions which is great for the buyers so it's definitely something to look into. And I just feel like we're on the edge of going into a buyer's market if it's not already there. So we're trying to get buyers to understand where we're at about programs that we offer and what we can get into with the lenders and then help them out. That's what we're trying to do at the moment. When I look in the Texas area, I see the same ideas that the Texas housing market is starting to cool down because of the COVID-19 point. Even Texas A&M basically showing that home prices have fallen more than 12%. And then some sales agents say that it's still a seller's market because of the high prices, but yet buyers have programs, average on home inventory. Now that it's a little bit backed off, not a lot of buyers are buying, we're getting more new construction. That's the biggest thing that we've been seeing. So a lot of new 2022 built homes, marry the mortgage, date the rates, try to understand where we can lower the rate here or there, just so that we can go ahead and see where we stand. The rental market has skyrocketed, but it has shown to have been decreasing slightly some builders have decreased their building because of the fact that there's less buyers in the market right now but there is some builders who are still building because the rental rates have increased about 12.4 percent over the last year so the buyers are trying to escape the rental market at this point so yes so some of the apartment developers have joined to help continue Making more rental properties is going to increase the supply of rental units. We're going to see a decrease in rental rates uh, moving forward in a couple of years. But then again, it just depends on how it runs. When I'm looking at the MLS on my end, I do see fluctuations as well. Back in October, home prices were up 12.2%. From January to November, I did see that the original prices that homes were listed at have been a little high. And then when they do sell, they've sold within a matter of about 60 days. And when they sell, they sell for a little bit less, but it's been pretty consistent. So it's, it sells low, but then it goes back to high and then it sells low. So that's kind of like the trend I've been seeing at this point. And Texas A&M University even shows that the Fort Worth, the Austin, the San Antonio, Dallas, there is in Houston areas as well, have shown to see similar drop-offs at 12% of homes prices are fallen after they've been listed. And the RGB is a great place, you know, 
a lot of people have been looking into the RGV or South Texas, the valleys. People are coming from different states around the nation and looking into this area. Why? Because there's a lot of economic growth that's coming out of the valley at this point. It's spewing out and people want to get a little bit of a taste of what that is like. And what I'm seeing at this point, 0.13% of home buyers from different parts of the nation have looked into cities like McCown, Westlake, Harlingen to look into home ownership as of the employment inspectancy to be about 122% by 2060. So it's definitely something to look into as well as personal income growth looks to be about 33,000 at the moment and is expected to rise to $227,000 coming in 2060 as well. Ali is growing and it is something that the nation should see. Not only that, but 895,000 is our population at this point from McAllen, Edinburgh and Mission areas. And right now, we're seeing it going to be boosting up to 1.5 million by 2060. That is an insane number. Just show that the valley is growing and is definitely on track to get there. So keep your eyes peeled on what is to come. It's a growing market. Builders are building, subdivisions are being developed new constructions everywhere, bridges being built. One of the main things of transportation right now that is trying to get completed, it's gonna be a very good thing. <clears throat> yeah. So no, yeah guys, I just wanted to let you know about what's going on in the market right now, here in 2022 of November. We're at the end of the year, we're gonna see how things go from now to December and then into the next year, 2023. And we're gonna see how things shift. But for now, this is a market update for what's going on. So definitely a lot to think about, definitely a lot to digest. So it's just something that you can go ahead and take on the information. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna have more content coming. I'll go ahead and try to get it going as soon as possible. At this point, I'll definitely try to be keeping you guys updated on this platform. I do have other platforms, so definitely check those out. They're Instagram, Facebook, Ezequiel Munoz. Uh, so definitely check those out. I'll have them linked somewhere here. But uh, definitely see you guys soon. Coffee's good. <laughs>